All right, let's get the skate park knocked out here. And this is the reason why I did not re-record um, an ounce of this. This skate park performance, skate park performance right here is the reason that I couldn't record any of this because I have never in my life had such a successful run at the skate park. Now, for those of you who have never played this before, the goal of this here is to get all 15 lizards. Now, you have to do this twice. The first time you can mess up, it's just kind of like learn the controls of the skate park. So as you can see here, we can do tricks and all that other fun stuff and just kind of murder some lizards. Do some pretty cool tricks. But um, the second half of the challenge is kind of the more interesting one. Because this one, as I mentioned, you can fuck up. You can, like if you wipe out on your, your on a, doing a trick, you will fall off the skateboard. This challenge, not a problem. Second challenge is actually a failure. And if you fail that, you have to restart the second challenge. And as a kid, that took me an eternity to do. Like, every time you fuck up, you just have to restart. And that took so many tries as a kid. And which is why, like, the go get em, Spyro that Hunter says when, uh, whenever you fail and you restart the thing, uh, it's, like, ingrained in my memory just from years of that. And we didn't actually get to hearing it. Not that it matters because, well... We have bad, um, uh, or lack of game sound anyway. But, uh, yeah, because we didn't get, really get to hear that any often because I actually didn't fuck it up. Which, is, and I'm assuming this is the reason that we've had to record this because there was no way I was going to be able to do something that good on camera and get away with the perfect recording. So, I guess that's just the price that we are going to have to pay. So, yeah. And also, the second challenge isn't, like, any different than this. And by the way, I did it perfectly the first time, as I think I was starting to say and cut myself off at some point. But yeah, so the lizards aren't any different. The only difference to the challenge is just that you have to do it all in one take. Which, I don't think there's a cut in this at all. I might be mistaken, and I can't see right now, but I'm, I'm pretty certain that that's a thing. So there's only one more lizard here right now, and I forget where he is because I recorded this, like, a week ago. But... That is neither here nor there if you're watching this, by the way. You're like on the day I post it. This is the day I'm recording it, which I'm sure is exactly what you want to know. Just break the fourth wall completely. And yes, we get ourselves one dragon egg here. Emily the dragon. And, um, well, Hunter informs us about that second challenge that I already talked about here. So I hope you're ready for it because, well, I got it in one shot. I've got it in one shot before. I don't know that I've ever done it, um done both of them back both of them back to back perfectly i know i've surely done that first one many times well and then been like well that's not gonna happen again for the second one and surely it didn't which is what i was assuming was going to happen here i was assuming here that i was going to um wind up screwing up at some point on the second one but nope i surely managed to just get through it perfectly somehow which i'm pretty proud of because well that doesn't happen very often it doesn't happen very often at all. I don't know, I just actually feel really good about this performance and it's like the main reason that I don't want to record anything. Even though, because it would be pretty easy to wind up re-recording this if I actually wanted to, just because, well, uh, so early in the game. Because, like, I mean, I'd only done, what, two levels by this point. I'd done Sheila's Alps in the homeworld. And that's it. But no, this, like, I mean, it's not even a spectacular performance it's just kind of there's a time limit too by the way i think i failed to mention the time limit but i've i for, kind of forget that there's a time limit because i've never actually run into the time limit as weird as that sounds for all the takes i did this as a kid i don't think i've ever, ever once run out of time if i screw this up it's simply because i wind up crashing into something and you got to watch those pillars by the way because well if you crash into those they uh they will take your board away. They will make you wipe out. You can go through them, but you have to be really careful because if you crash into the center of them, yeah, you're toast. And speaking of toast, this last lizard is going to be toast because we're going to fly across the level, kill him, and we're not even going to hit the ground because Hunter's going to bring us back here just to make sure that we wind up getting the egg. Which is kind of important because, well, we need the eggs. Especially if we're going to get all of the eggs in the game. All 148, as the Atlas tells us there is. We're doing pretty good so far, because that is what? 13. 13 eggs. Not awful. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, boy. 
And now it's just really collecting gems because I think, was that it? Was that the last one? Oh no. Well, actually it was for us because we collected everything before then, but I also recorded the Sheila part that you guys saw in the last episode after this. That's what it was. That's what it was indeed, because I was trying to keep these episodes rather short. And, uh, well, I think I succeeded for the most part, and quite a few of them are actually decent lengths, but you know what? That's going to allow me to probably have uploads all of this week, and I am pretty happy about that one, I must say. Yeah, and I think this is the part where I just kind of keep start screwing around on the things. I screwed around on them for a little while, but it was nothing really noteworthy. And, uh, well... There's score stuff later, but I figured as much that I should really just save that for the second skate park where it's more relevant. Because, well, as I mentioned, it's not particularly relevant. What are we missing here? Did we get everything? I think we got everything. If I'm not mistaken. Though knowing me, the fact that I have not cut yet means we have not gotten everything. Am I mistaken? There's a gem somewhere. I haven't cut yet. There's gotta be one. What did I miss? <laughs> I have honestly no idea. No, I just took forever to cut. Apparently. That's all. That's all. Nothing big. Um, but yeah. And now we're on to the next portion of the level, which is um, oh yeah, this. It's the giant chicken. It's a big old cock. Yeah, there's a giant chicken in this level, and it came back. Because, well, it's it might be the only one left. I wish I had a giant chicken. Oh, and that's the last level, or the last, last level, last gem I was missing in the level. Which brings us to 100% completion on this level, and, uh, well, we're complete here. That's actually everything. We're done in Sunny Villa. And by the way, there's one thing I don't think I've mentioned real quick, is that if you haven't noticed as well, the mayor actually came back with us. And the main goal of Spyro 3 to progress is that you have to go get like the A, B, the a to B goal in every level so that you can actually progress. But anyway, enjoy this cutscene. And we're going to move on. <laughs> Ooh, look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this! <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me? Or is she kind of cute when she's angry? <laughs> 